Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hungry Shark Tavern, and we are back here for another episode of Taco Roulette. Everyone's familiar with the rules, one spin for the main ingredient wheel, three side ingredients, and we choose a heat level. So, why don't we get started with this, and see exactly what we have in store for us today. Let's see, let's see. Huh, turkey. That, 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 that is interesting, you know, I, I don't think, I have never used turkey in one, and I honestly don't think I can recall ever seen a taco that used turkey so yeah this this could be interesting this could be interesting all right let's give a look at our sides and oh okay oh i'm i'm liking this so far all right number two number two is apple oh this is this is interesting this is turning out really interesting Oh, I got an idea cooking right now. All right, final ingredient. Okay, all right, we got a bit of heat to go with that. Interesting, all right, I, I am liking this so far. Now, finally, for our heat level. All right, three chilies right in the middle. Okay, ooh, I am excited. I'm, I, I am excited. We are gonna go all out on this one. Let's do this, let's do this! Okay. Um, I went to the stores and I found that, at least around me, they do not sell turkey parts like, um, drumsticks or anything like that. All they had was whole turkeys or wings right now. So I bought an 18 pound turkey to make tacos. Now what we are going to do is we are going to brine this turkey. That way, you know, with such a large bird, if we're going to be roasting in an oven, we want to give as many safeguards to prevent it from drying out. We're going to brine it in a bit of vegetable broth with salt, peppercorns, a bit of allspice, juniper berries. Leave that overnight to set, let it do its thing. Then we're gonna take it out, we're gonna wash that brine off, and then we are gonna oil and season the outside with a little bit of a tiny bit of salt, some pepper, a little bit of Italian herbs, your thyme, rosemary, savory. And then we're gonna cram the inside of this bird with some apple, some cinnamon, some sage, rosemary, um, some preserved lemons. We are gonna tie this bird together. We are going to put it in our roasting pan, leave it in the oven, carefully monitor it for about two and a half hours. And then we're gonna take it out and look at that golden beauty. All right, now for our bacon, we are gonna do something extra special. Bacon on its own, fabulous. Absolute S tier ingredient. You can't go wrong with it but we're gonna do something very special with it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make pig candy. And basically, you know, it's another way of saying candied bacon. We're gonna take our bacon, we're gonna dip it in a mixture of brown sugar, cayenne pepper, and a bit of black pepper. We are gonna set that in our oven for about 40 minutes or so, and we're just gonna get these nice, long, decadent strips of bacon that we're then gonna chop up into nice little pieces to garnish. For our apples, we're actually going to make a slaw. I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, turkey, you know, we're getting to that time of year, fall, Thanksgiving. I'm thinking something special. So we're gonna take a little bit of red cabbage, green cabbage. We're gonna have a Granny Smith apple, Fuji apple, bit of red onion, slice that all together, mix it with a bit of dressing. And we got a nice, cool, refreshing, very crisp slaw. And we're gonna shave a little bit of our jalapeno into slivers. We're gonna assemble everything all together. And that slaw is gonna do a nice job at sort of balancing out the heat from the habanero. For our sauce, we're gonna go a little special today. And fitting with the theme of habanero, I got a few bulbs of spicy shark hot sauce. We're gonna use the habanero variety. We're gonna drizzle that over our tacos. And there we have it. All right, well, um. Why don't we dig in, shall we? Uh, I'm feeling a lot more confident about these ones than the last set. So, up, uh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is really good. The turkey came out nice and moist. Really loving that. The candy bacon, I mean, 
bacon is bacon. Bacon is always awesome. Bacon is just always S tier. But that works together so goddamn well. There is the heat from the habanero, definitely, and from the hot sauce, but, um, I mean, it's a good heat. It's a bound. It's, it, it's not a beg for mercy heat. I mean, it's definitely there. It's definitely noticeable. It's definitely hot, but it just simmers down, and then the coleslaw helps to really balance that out a little bit. It's never too hot, but it's hot enough where you really like it. This is a damn good combo. So goddamn happy with myself right now. Another thing about the slaw is that it adds like a little bit of like good texture because the turkey meat it's soft, the candied bacon itself is a little bit chewy as well. But then you got that little bit of crunch from the onion and the apple, and yeah, that's yeah, and that touch of tartness from the green apple that that works surprisingly well with everything else. That, that is. I've been giving this a 9 out of 10, maybe even a 9.5. That was a damn good set that I made. Alright. This whole section redeemed. Alright, that, that first one, that, that was something. But this, this, this was spectacular. You know what, I, I'm going 9 to 9.5 on that. This was special. I have to write this down because I gotta make this again. And I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I, 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 I'm happy that I had to buy an 18 pound turkey in order to make this because now I have so much to be able to. I, I can have this over and over again. And honestly, I just might be eating that for the rest of the week. That's, that's how good it was. All right, well, um, I suppose that wraps it up for this one, and I will be back here next week to see exactly what the Arbiters of Fate have in store for me on this. So, until next time!